This is Into Math Lesson 13.6, Represent and Name Fractions Greater Than 1. I can identify fractions greater than 1 on a number line and write them in fraction form and as mixed numbers. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 374. Feel free to pause at any time if you need to. We will start under Building Understanding Part 1. Jasmine has a stack of seven waffle halves. How many plates can Jasmine fill with one whole waffle? Will any waffle halves be left over? Draw to show the waffles. So we are going to start by taking the amount of waffle half seven, and here they've shown us what a half of a waffle looks like. And we are gonna go ahead and draw out those seven waffles as we were asked to do. You can pause the video and go ahead and draw the seven halves like I have done. And when you come back, we will now find how many plates Jasmine will fill with one whole waffle. So these two halves make a whole, that's one plate. These two make a whole plate or a whole waffle and on one plate. And these two make a whole waffle onto one plate. And then we do have something left over. We don't have a whole waffle. We would have a plate here, but we only have one of the two, one half, shown. So we can answer part A. How many plates does Jasmine fill with whole waffles? And we can answer three plates. Next, we can answer part B. How many halves are left over? We show that there is one half. Next, we can look at part C. What fraction greater than one and a mixed number can you write to represent the waffles that Jasmine serves? We need to take a look at the connect to vocabulary. We notice that the definition of a fraction greater than one has a numerator or top number greater than its denominator. And they give an example here where five thirds, five is greater than the number three. We also find that the definition for a mixed number is a number that is greater than one represented by a whole number and a fraction. And the example they give is the whole number four and the fraction three eighths. So in the example with the waffles, we had seven waffle halves and we were making um, plates that had two on each for a whole waffle. So we have seven over two and that is a fraction that is greater than one because the seven is bigger than the two, which is the uh, denominator. So our numerator is bigger than our denominator, so that is a fraction that is greater than one. And we found that when we have seven uh, over two, that really means that we have three holes because we had three plates, one, two, three, with um, a full waffle. And then we also had one half left over. So our complete mixed number would be three and one half. That means three holes or three plates and one half left over. And that is the same thing as seven over two. Those are equal. Now let's take a look at part two. To make a shirt, Luke needs five third yards of cloth. Complete the number line to show thirds. You are welcome to pause this video and try this on your own and come back, or you can follow along with me. Part A asks how many thirds are in one yard? We know that in one yard, there will be three thirds to complete that whole yard. So we can write in the answer three thirds. Now let's take a look at part B. How many whole yards does Luke need? Circle the fraction on the number line that shows this. Okay, so again, we gotta go back to 
Um, in order to make a shirt, he needs five thirds. And so if we're looking at this number line, we can actually go ahead and just fill in the number line. We have one third, two third, three third, four third. We know this is five third and this would be six third. And then we have seven third already shown for us. So we know that in order to make a shirt, he needs five thirds and how many whole yards would he need? Here's five thirds, that's where he's gonna make the shirt. So he actually only needs one whole yard of, um, of cloth. So we can circle that, which would be three thirds, that makes a whole. And um, this is where he needs to end, five thirds. So let's go ahead and write in uh, the, the amount of whole yards that he needs is one whole yard. The next section C says circle the section of the number line which represents the amount that Luke still needs. So if he has a whole yard here and we need to get to five thirds, then the amount that he still needs is right here. We know that each section represents a third. So we know that this section that we've circled is one third and another third. So what Luke needs is he needs one whole yard, which we know from right here, and then he needs one third and one third, and that's really two thirds. So our mixed number that represents five thirds is one whole and two thirds. And remember, a mixed number is a number that is represented by a whole number and a fraction. Let's look at the next page, page 375, part three. Nisa's egg cartons hold, excuse me, each hold eight eggs. Nisa has 17 eggs. How many cartons of eggs does Nisa fill? If you'd like to try this on your own and come back, you may do so or follow along with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw what it says in part A, draw to show the eggs in Nisa's cartons. So one carton has eight eggs. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw 17 eggs and then put them in the groups of eight for what's available in each carton. Here we have 17 eggs and I am putting the groups of eight in a carton and I have one egg left over, which I will put in a carton. So we can answer part B, how many whole cartons does Nisa fill completely? We can see that two cartons are filled completely. Part C asks, how many eggs are left over? What fraction of a carton is left over? So we know that there is only one egg left over, so we can answer that part of the first question. There's only one egg. And then we see that in this carton, there are eight spots for an egg, but there's only one egg. So the fraction of a carton that's left over is we have one egg and there are eight spots for those eggs. So we have made the fraction one eighth of a carton. Now let's take a look at part D. Write the number of cartons Nisa fills as a mixed number. Nisa fills blank cartons of eggs. So remember, a mixed number is a number that is a whole number and a fraction. And when we take a look at this picture, we see that there are two whole cartons, one, two, and then we have the leftover egg which is one of eight because there are eight spots. So our mixed number is two and one eight. If you would like to go back and rewatch this video, you may do so at any time and you can pause along the way as needed. 